I'm just trying to make sure that there's no drugs in my neighborhood where I'm working. And there ain't any more. Not on us, at least. That's it right there. We smoked it all. We were sent to a call where there was a car uh, sitting behind a church with its lights off and no license plate. We got there, we found the car sitting behind the church, like they said, and uh, I got out and found the uh, male sitting in the driver's seat. What are you doing over here? Oh, I'm just charging my phone because they got a plug-in. Charging your phone? Yeah. Okay. Well, is this your vehicle? Yeah. Is there another person in here? Oh, my girl. She okay. doesn't sleep. All right, well, why don't you have any plates on your car, man? It's... I've been trying to get illegal. Okay. Hey, why don't you uh, why don't you hop out of the car and come talk to me? I ran him. He didn't have any warrants. <sighs> Put him in the back seat of another officer's patrol vehicle. And he said his girlfriend was asleep in the front seat. People think that if they act like they're asleep, we're not going to talk to him. I've seen that a couple times. Uh, I don't. I don't think she was asleep, especially after I opened her door. But I pulled her out. After I got done searching her, I was going to set her down, ask her if she had anything else illegal, and she said no. What I'm going to have you do for a second is I'm going to have you sit on that ledge right there while I get this car situation straightened out because it didn't have any plates on it. Okay. And I need, I need to get you out of here so I can check it out. That was all I had. <laughs> well, you got a pipe on you. I'm going to ask again. Is there anything illegal in the car? You need to be honest with me. Not anymore. When I set her in the back of the other patrol vehicle, I asked her if she had anything else illegal, illegal on her because she lied to me once and she said, yeah, and she pulled another pipe somewhere in her pants. Another pipe. So now you've lied to me twice. Jessica. What's in that car? That's what, good. What else is in that car? That's good. Well, you told me that was it last time. I swear to God. I'm telling the truth, that's it. Are there drugs in that car? No, please, please search okay. the car. Well, I have, I have to get consent from him, so sit tight. We didn't have anything to arrest him for. The mail wouldn't let us search the vehicle. Without a warrant, we can't search it. I don't want to violate your rights. I'm not trying to do that, but I think there's something in the car that you don't nothing. want me to find. We, that did, right there. I, I oh, well, man, we did smoke a little bit. When we smoked it, it was a bottle of bowl or two, and we smoked it all. Okay, so if there's there nothing. If there's nothing in the car, then why are you being suspicious about it? This is my personal facts, and this is where that. I live. The caller was the youth pastor at the church, and he wanted to know why they were there. And then after we started talking to him, they determined they wanted them trespassed from the church because they were in a car with no tags. It was kind of suspicious. So we let them leave, and they come back on the property. They'll go to jail. Protesting global warming. Yes. <laughs> Making people aware of global warming. Do you think maybe there's an alternative way to doing that? Free speech is free speech. <sighs> I'd ask you if you had any ID, but I see you definitely don't.